Putin chose this war, and now he and his country will bear the consequences. U.S. President Joe Biden unveiled harsh new sanctions against Russia on Thursday after Moscow launched an all-out invasion of Ukraine, imposing measures to impede Russia's ability to do business in the global economy. We've now sanctioned Russian banks that together hold around $1 trillion in assets. We've cut off Russia's largest bank, a bank that holds more than one-third of Russia's banking assets by itself, cut it off from the U.S. financial system. And today, we're also blocking four more major banks. That means every asset they have in America will be frozen. Biden said the sanctions were designed to have a long-term impact on Russia and to minimize the impact on the United States and its allies. And he said Washington was prepared to do more. This is going to take time, and we have to show resolve so he knows what's coming. And so the people of Russia know what he's brought on them. That's what this is all about. His announcement represented the second major tranche of sanctions against Russia, and Biden warned personally sanctioning Russian President Vladimir Putin was still an option. These powers will enable us. Adding to the latest round of Western penalties, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson unveiled new measures targeting banks, members of Putin's inner circle, and the very wealthy who enjoy high rolling London lifestyles to, quote, maximize the economic price Putin will pay adding Putin will be condemned by history. Now we see him for what he is, a blood-stained aggressor who believes in imperial conquest. What wasn't part of Thursday's tranche of sanctions, cutting off Russia from SWIFT, the interbank messaging network that is the backbone of international finance. The sanctions that we've proposed on all their banks have of equal consequence, maybe more consequence than SWIFT number one. Number two, uh, it is always an option, but right now that's not the position that the rest of uh, Europe wishes to take. Describing Thursday's onslaught as a dangerous moment for Europe, Biden said he authorized troops that have been placed on standby to deploy to Germany to defend NATO allies, stressing that Putin's actions have made him a pariah on the international stage. Putin's aggression against Ukraine will end up costing Russia dearly economically and strategically. We will make sure of that.